Hi guys, it's me, the top 4 data center certification. Why the hell not top 5? Why? Why not top 5? Because I can't find the best of the best top 5 data center certification. So I'm sticking with top 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Move to the screen. These are the top 4 of the 4 best data center certification. Indeed, there are many. I mean, there's a dozen more data center certification, but you know that I'm Jimmy a geek, so I don't want to include some worthless certification which only want your money rather than giving you real training. So now I'm going to reveal the top 4 best of the best data center certification if you want to work in a data center, if you want to play with big data. But remember one thing, these certifications are not, I mean, more focused on playing with data or analyzing data. These are focusing with networking and data. Basically, if you work in a data center, how you administer the data, for example, you want to work in Facebook. I mean, you, you have to do some physical work, you have to go to the server, you have to pull out the server rack and then basically do every kind of manipulation on data, manage the data anyway, just give a quick Google server, what is called data center job. To get a data center job, number four is CDCMP, which stands for Certified Data Center Management. This basically you can't just go and give the exam. You have to go through a seven day training. Currently they are offering to you the seven day training according to them, according to them. If you get a seven day training, they will issue you a BTEC level five professional diploma, which is freaking awesome. If you don't know BTEC, BTEC level five stands for associate degree or higher diploma. It means if you are getting this certificate, you will get a BTEC professional award diploma. And then you can see it lasts for seven days. 4 days for the professional and 3 days is for the core. You have to go through the training. The training costs you around 5,000 US dollars if I am not wrong. They have not included the price here. Anyway, it costs you around 5,440 dollars. Let me show you. Yes, it costs you 5,400 dollars. I mean, you can just give the request up and then you can see you will get the following. The certified data center management certificate, a level 5 advanced professional qualification in data center and then a CDCM logo. Who the hell wanna use the CDM logo? Anyway, I really like, I mean, their 7 day bootcamp. Basically, it's a 7 day bootcamp. You don't have to study for a year. You don't have to study for a month. You have to just study for one week and then go and get the exam. You can see the certified data center management professional CDC MP program is a 7 day in duration. However, it can split into two core and take it separately. For example, for example, this month only I want to take a three day course and then another month I can take a four day course you can do but 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 do not do that just get that data science certificate in seven days within a one week non-stop let's move to number three number three CCNP for getting the CCNP you already know you need a CCNA which is basically a worthless certificate I am more to the computer network plus get go and get a computer network plus why Basically, Computer Network Plus will teach you the foundation networking, then go and get a CCNA and then go and get a CCNP. To get a CCNP, you need to get a CCNA. CCNA requires two exams, but this CCNP requires four exams. It will cost you $1,000, $250 dollar per exam. To get the CCNP in data center, you have to pass this four exam. You can, I mean, you can choose for the, the, the core or the compulsory exam or implementing Cisco data center unfined computing implementing cisco center unfined fabric i think it's a fiber optics they are talking about and then you can choose i mean that two exam this two i mean you can choose the data center computing or whatever you want to or troubleshooting i will say go with troubleshooting yes getting the cc and pick data center freaking hard for exam i mean barely you can pass one exam Passing four exam is really freaking hard, so it's up to you. CC and pay still valuable compared to CC and a CC and a is a toilet paper. I would not even use other toilet tissue paper. Move to number three. Number three is, of course, the VMware certified professional six data data center virtualization. Quite a long name. Let me take a break. <gasps> VCP6 DCV. But do not get excited with the freaking long name. To get this exam, you have to first pass one of the VMware certificate. I mean, you can pass, you can complete and get a VSPAIR 6 foundation exam. Basically, it's a certification, I mean, or you have to pass. I mean, just go to the website for more detail. But you have to pass one of the VM, for example, you have to pass the VMware certified professional or the VMware SPEAR exam to get this one. This exam costs you around how much? 250 US dollars. Do not get me wrong. Let me see. 
FAQ. Anyways, Coursera $250. I don't know why the hell they are not listing the price in front of it. Anyway, now go to the best of the best. Number one Stick Nider Electric Data Center Certified Associate. Very green. Anyway, this is one of the weird certification that very few people know in the world. But the people who know in the world, they really give a freaking high value to it. For example, if I am a super ice employer or a super weird company, but I know the real value lie in the second electric data center certification. So if someone, a dickhead guy with no brain come to me with this certification, indeed I will hire him. Why? First, let me give you a, this exam only cost you $250 and it's a single exam, but it said it's an open book format. Open book format. Don't try to go jump and then say hallelujah that you can just pass it. If you don't know open book exam, open book means you can bring your notes. Normally, most of that, this all three exam are closed book exam. So, which means that you can't, I mean, bring anything which you, if you try to even bring a single stupid ass of paper or tissue paper which have written some kind of data center, you will be disqualified. Even sometimes they will call the police. Why? Basically, it's a crime. But for this open book format, you can big, you can prepare and bring all your material in it and then try to pass. But, 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 but do not get so much excited passing this exam is not really easy. You have to, I mean, understand the concept or how to say the foundation or sync neither electric and then you should know why they are offering a data center exam. You can see, I mean, industry research indicate that the talent pool of a qualified senior level technician and management data center professional continues to shrink every year. To be honest with you, that is a freaking true. I mean, I agree with them. To be honest with you, I really, really agree with them. Nobody wants to become a data center. Everybody wants to become a computer technician, basically computer technician, or he wants to just become a programmer. And then they say the lack of professional talent like created a loom skill shortage in the industry. And one of the media to successful data center, you can read all the bunch of the crap. I mean, you can see a solid benchmark, all that crap. Anyways, these are the best or the best for data center certification. Now let's move to me. Do you got that? These are the best or the best of the best of the best of the best for data center certification. So now let me give you a little bit backstory doing my research. I did my research. I mean, I really did the research non-stop for a day for you guys. But, but, but I couldn't find really good certification. I mean, I find database, I'm, I'm, I find database certification like for the MQS, uh, what is called MySQL or MySQL, Oracle, MongoDB or NanoDB for the data analyst. But I didn't find any good freaking certification for data center. Data center is not basically database. Remember, one thing database is programming is a part of programming, it's a part of keyboard. Data center is like you're working in a server environment where you where you should have to manage that data physically, even in a software environment. I mean that why there's a, a lot of short for a really good data center certified. I mean basically the concept that you most of the time work in a server room or an environment in front of server. It's not like I mean like the MCSC or a server administration. It's like data. Your specific job will be just managing the data on that server. You should manage but physically even there's a lot of security how you will secure the data, how you will do the back of that data, all that kind of bunch of horse crap. It's not really horse crap but I'm just saying in a in a right way. So just I mean get this for I mean I, my personal opinion is that go and get the CCNP. Why basically CCNP or the Cisco certification have a very good name brand recognition in the world. But if you go and get the second night the number one which I rank, still you can get a job. But you have to market yourself. I mean not everybody know the people who not the certificate. They will indeed hire you and it's an open book exam basically that's all i will say for the top five data center you can check out my top five linux certification or you can check out the top five system administration certification or you can check out the top five networking certification or you can check out the top five cloud certification it's me jimmy Eric. subscribe to my channel you can hate me just hate me but you can like me just like me leave your comment in the comment box below but you can't hate me I think I did I, I say it wrong you can't ignore me <laughs> anyway top 4 certification subscribe to my channel it's me Jimmy Geek bye bye